Hi, I'm Tessa. I'm a physio here at Good Physio and I've got the lovely Patia here with me today. Patia's a lovely young dancer and she's agreed to help us out and give everyone an idea of what goes into a pre-point assessment. So we're going to go through what that would look like now. So we do a pre-point assessment to make sure that the dancer is going to have a safe transition to point work. We like to look at a couple of things, the range of motion in a few joints around the feet and legs um, and strength in a few joints around the feet and legs and then also some ballet specific steps to make sure that the technique is there so that when they put their point shoes on they're going to feel nice and safe and secure. It's great to have a physio to do this so you've got someone with fresh eyes on your dancer who can take the time to go through these things one by one and see where they're at. So the first thing that we do when we have a pre-point assessment is have a thorough chat around any past injuries, any current injuries, the load of the dancer, so how many classes per week they're doing, if there's any other sports going on. We talk about past medical history as well and try and get a really thorough idea of how that dance is going at that point in time to make sure that there's nothing that would make us wanna just delay the start of point work slightly there. So after we've had a good chat and we know what's going on with the dancer, we look at a few different things. Um, so we do some tests to look at the range of motion at the big toe, the range of motion of the combined foot and ankle plantar flexion or how much of a point that student's got. We check out the range of motion at the knees as well and then also both the active and the passive range of motion around the hip to make sure that the muscle control is there to match up with how much movement that student's hip has. After we've looked at those tests, we generally take the dancer out into our gym space and we check out a few more dance specific things. So we look at the student doing some ballet steps like a plie, a tendu, a rise. We also look at a fondue on one leg away from the bar to check that the hips are staying nice and level. We look at what's called an aeroplane test as another way to give us an indication of how the hip stability is going functionally. We do a topple test, which is a single pirouette landing in a really nice fifth position. The idea of that one is that it's a good um, kind of show of a, a few different things are in your ballet technique and gives us a good idea of how it all comes together nicely. We also look at the lumbar pelvic stability or how the muscles are controlling the trunk and the hip. So often we do a double leg lower to, to assess that. They, we use all of that information to come up with some recommendations for whether the dancer should start point work, should maybe keep things just at the bar to begin with, or should wait a little while before they start on point. And we also use that time to identify any areas that might be of issue, whether it be a strength or a range of motion issue. And we can work with the dancer on some exercises to make sure that we're staying on top of those things so they will have a safe and healthy transition into point work. So we thought we would film this video with Patia here today so it gives dancers a good idea of what's included in a pre-point assessment. That way you don't have to feel nervous when you come in, you can just feel comfortable to come in and know that we want to work with you to meet your goals, to get you where you want to be.